Let's start off with the Talon Strike. Talon Strike is from the Aki Strike series, which means it does come with Aki Strike darts, which are noticeably more accurate. It also comes with a target and a blaster itself. There is really not much to say. It is a single shot pistol. It does reach higher FPS than the Jolt bow. And it holds two darts. It is meant to look like a spy pistol. And there's a tactical rail on the bottom. So you can put like a laser or something. The side strike was the original version of these two reskinned nerf blasters, but this one comes with a holster that also holds four darts. I will get to that in a second. As you can see, I can fit the triad in two different positions in the holster. I can also fit the 10 round magazine though, not the easiest way, but it is much easier while it's on a belt. And finally, I can fit a big shock in there. Now to sum up my opinion on these two nerf blasters. Honestly, I think it is easy for me to say that the side strike beats the talent strike by a lot. In my opinion, it looks cosmetically more appealing, but that's just an opinion. Yet, it doesn't come with a target, but it comes with a very good holster. Targets aren't that big of a deal, because anything can be a target. A soda can, anything. But it is a little more pricey. So, do I think it is worth the $17 at the time that it costs now, based on the talent strike, which is $13? I think it depends for the side strike. If you really want that holster, I think it's totally worth it. But for the side strike, I think it is kind of a waste of your time. And that is my conclusion on these two nerf blasters. The side strike won.